Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert timestamp to time. In order to do this, we are going to take help from date function and time function. First, I'm going to explain you how to use time and mid function if you're new to this. And then we will move on to calculating login time and logout time. Let's get it started. We want to extract the mid of the text. In this case, I want to extract 000. And in the second case, I want to extract 100. Let's see how to do this. Basically, mid is a text function. And when I use mid, this has gotten three important arguments. First, it starts with the text. My text lies in here. And what is the starting number of the text? In this case, I have gotten k is the first character, a is the second character, and 0 is the third character. So starting from third character, and how many number of characters we want it to be extracted? We are in need of 0, 0, 0. So three characters we are in need of. So I am giving 3. When I close and hit enter, we are going to have only the middle digits. And you can change this. Say, for example, you are in need of four digits. You want only the number to be extracted and not the text. You can use this. And not only that, you can use write also to extract. But I have demonstrated it to you using a mid function. In the same way, you can just pass it on and it's going to extract the text alone. I'm just reverting. We are in need of middle three. So we have gotten the middle three alone. We have gotten over here. So now it's pretty clear that mid function will help us to extract the content from a mid of a text. Now at the next level, I want to convert this R minutes and seconds into a time format. 8 hours, 30 minutes and 45 seconds. In order to do this, I'm going to take help from time function. Time function has got three important arguments. The first is the R. For the R, I'm choosing this particular cell. For the minute, this cell. And for the second, this cell. Close and hit enter. You will have the time format. Now we are going to use this mid and the time function to convert a timestamp to a time function. So first I am passing in time function and within the time we have got R, minute and second. In place of R, I am passing in mid function. This mid function will allow us to extract the numeric value alone from this particular text. So I am saying my text is here. And what is the starting number of the text? The text starts at 0, 0. So beginning with number is 1. And how many number of characters do we want? 0, 0, R. So first two characters we are in need of. This we have done it for the hour. Now for the minute, I am listing in mid function again. Now for the minute, look into it. Where is the text? The text is here. Where is the starting number? The starting number is at 2, 1, which means 0 is at the first character, another 0 at the second character, h is at the third character, and the numerical 2 is at the fourth character. So I'm giving 4 the starting number, and the number of character is I'm in need of 2 and 1. 2 character I'm in need of. So 2. So 4 minute, we are done with. Next, we are going to extract it for the second. I'm using mid. The text is here. Here we can see 00h is 3, 21m is 6, and 4 is the seventh character. And how many characters we are in need of? Again, second is also denoted by the two digits. So I'm saying 2. Close the bracket. This is for the mid function. One more time, close it for the time function. When I hit enter, you can see we have gotten the time. Just send it down and you are going to have the time alone. It's amazing to see the timestamp converted into a time. The same we can do it for the log of time as well. Where is the text? Text is in D3. The static number is at the first place and the number of character, we are looking for the two character. For R, we have completed for minute. Mid function again, choose the text. The starting number is 06 H is three character. And we want 15 minutes. So 15 starts at fourth character. The number one starts at fourth character. How many digits? Two digits we are in need of. Close it. 
comma and now we have to nest in for the second so mid again choose the text starting number is 3 and 3 6 and and the one starts at the seventh position 7 and the number of character is 2 close this is for the mid function all mid functions we have closed and this bracket is for the time function hit enter you are going to have the time now you can see the login time and the logout time by your employees i'm sure you have enjoyed this video thanks for joining stay tuned for more such videos good day